I got my hands on one of the wildest vehicles in the world. It can drive on sand, it can drive on water, it can drive over all terrain, and I'm gonna get to test one out. This is the Atlas. All right, here it is. The first thing you notice are the tires, right? I mean, these things are massive. This right here is 1.65 meters. There's a lot of people that are smaller than that. In the middle, you have this kind of tube, right? This pipe, because what that does is that regulates the amount of air that you put inside of these things. These tires right now, they're slightly deflated because we're gonna be driving it on sand, but you can inflate it to drive on land and to drive on water. Obviously, when this is filled up all the way, these wheels double as a flotation device, right? And they have these super thick, you know, kind of paddles. Can you imagine when this is driving on water and this is accelerating, these act like little paddles, you know, to get some momentum going. How, how? Like this, like this. You know, that's what, the, that's what the wheels do. I think this is a super modern looking all-terrain vehicle because if you look at the lights, they're behind this glass panel. It's a super, super clean kind of look. They started designing this car in 2019 and so far they've made about 10 units. We got one right here. I love the headlight as well at the top. And what's cool about the front is that you have this kind of, uh, you know, like this angle at the front, like a boat, you know, because this thing, again, does drive on water. All right, let's go to the side. This right here is your exhaust pipe. Super high up, but it needs to be there. Most of the time, even if you're driving on the ocean, the water will go off to here. So it's important for the exhaust pipe to be above that water level, right? Again, from the side, you can see that ship shape, you know? Ship shape. To keep everything, you know, balanced, floating, right? Let's go to the back. You got, it's actually crazy that, like, this is, this is the flattest back imaginable. I think that when they were designing this, they were thinking like, what should we do to the back? And they just got a knife, cut it down the middle, done, uh -huh. flat. I mean, you don't really need much else, right? And for those of you wondering, this is 2.8 meters tall. So, uh, you know, I, I have like, it's, it's harder to jump on sand, you know, but uh, that's, re that's really high up. A lot of you guys are wondering, what does something like this even cost, right? I mean, this thing looks expensive, let's get real. You can actually buy one of these for $135,000. That's the starting price. Obviously, there's a million modifications you can do to it. You can completely change the interior. You can change the paint job. Right now, if you look closely, this isn't really even paint job. This is bed liner. But if you want, you can get a normal paint job, maybe put it in neon yellow, just saying. But you can customize this in a million different ways, both on the outside and the inside. That's pretty high up, but luckily you have this. And that's how you get up. So, uh, just like that. One, two, three. You know, I asked the people at Atlas, like, you know, who did you design this vehicle for? And they said, you know, for emergency services, you know, for uh, private collectors, for fishermen. I was like, fishermen, you know, if you're a serious, dedicated fisherman, you know, you can, you can go on to your lake Keep this door open like that. And the water's maybe around here. Just fish, reel them in. Get inside, let's, uh, let's take a look at the inside. <laughs> All right, JP. Whoa. Nice. What's cool is that you can even sit on the side. This is cushioned, so this can actually drive up to 12 people. We have five passenger seats right now, but you can completely customize the inside you can put up to 12 seats on the inside as well. And they've even designed the interior in a way that if you wanted to, you could also put a stretcher in here. So you can literally install a stretcher. You see how that's already caved in in case you want to use this as an emergency service vehicle. And the motor, the engine is underneath this. You can feel the rumble. Also, what's cool is that, you know, you have very squishy seats, leather, you know, I give it a pretty high score for comfort. You have this because obviously, if you're going around the desert, you might need it. If you want some fresh air, or maybe uh, do a drive through at McDonald's, collect your Big Mac, put it in there, okay? That would be sick to actually, you know, do a drive through in this thing. Can you imagine? We gotta make a video on that. And the driver's seat is smack dab in the middle of the vehicle. 
and I have to say that the first thing I noticed when sitting here is how much visibility you have. This windshield is enormous. It's huge. It's like you go left, right, you can see everything and it's super flat, it's angled. I love it. These are your side view cameras because obviously there's no side view mirrors anywhere. There's no rear view mirror either. There's nothing, right? Because if you look back, what are you gonna see? Nothing. The steering wheel, pretty simple. Not much going on. Match your speedometer. And here you have a bunch of switches. So you have your cabinet light, your compressor, and your diff locks, you know, rear and front diff locks. Your horn, let's see what this does. Beep. <laughs> Beep. I always imagine like a yeah, brown. brown. I was expecting like brown. And when you listen to it, it's like, Beep. it sounds like, uh, it sounds like Mr. Bean's car. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, but I like it. It's like it's it's one of those things where it's like uh, it catches you off guard, right? You know, if you're driving down the road and you hear this little sound, beep beep, you know, you think it's like you're like, what the hell? And you see this thing behind you. One of the main ideas that Atlas tried to bring to life was to make this a very simple thing to drive. Basically, if you can drive stick shift, you can drive the Atlas. So this is your stick shift right here. And that's all you need to do. In the past, we've driven cars like the Shaman where you, there's a million different flips and switches and stuff. This is basically a manual car on steroids, but a lot of steroids, you know, like the, the unhealthy kind of steroids. You know when, when someone's on so much steroids that you start to worry for them? That's the kind of steroids that this car is on. This right here is how you switch between your steering modes. So right now we have front wheel steering. If I flick this down like this, now we unlock the rear axle as well. So now we can do a sharp turn. The Atlas has a smaller turning radius than a normal car. Try to get your head around that because this thing is like three times the size of a normal car. Lastly, you can flick this down like that and now what you've unlocked is crab walk. Everyone loves crab walk mode. I think that's about it. Should we be doing anything else? Drive it. Drive it, right? It's time to drive this thing. Yeah, let's, let's do, do it. it. Let's do it. This is the Atlas. Watch this. is huge. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Thanks to the people at Atlas for bringing this vehicle here. Make sure to subscribe, like the video, and we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>